Whether you're young or old, <laughs> single, or you have kids, you cannot escape the cost of medical care. In tonight's Consumer Alert, Simply Money's Amy Wagner takes a closer look at how the GOP's plan could affect your premiums. The Congressional Budget Office took a close look at what the GOP's proposed health care plan would mean in terms of dollars and cents when it came to health care premiums for certain groups of Americans. And it appears there would be some clear winners and some clear losers. First, the people who would likely save some money. According to the CBO's analysis, by 2026, the premiums for a healthy 21-year-old would be 20 to 25 percent lower under the GOP plan than they are now under ACA. And premiums for a 40-year-old would be about 8 to 10 percent lower. But the story is quite different for older, low-income Americans. Under ACA, also known as Obamacare, a 64-year-old making $26,500 a year would pay $1,700 for health care coverage in the year 2026. But under the GOP plan, that same person would pay $14,600 a year for health care. That's because under ACA, insurers can charge older enrollees only three times more than younger ones. But the GOP plan bumps that limit up to five times as much. It also uses tax credits rather than the cost-based subsidies that exist under ACA. Here's the Simply Money point. While you can't do much about the debate in Washington, you can make sure you're taking full advantage of your health care coverage now. Make sure you're contributing to your HSA if you have one. And if your plan offers low cost or free preventative care, make sure you're taking full advantage of that. For Fox 19 Now and Simply Money, I'm Amy Wagner.